Welcome back, travelers of this other heavy gear, and we are back playing a little more Sev Tech Ages. And I want to start off by saying, hey, I am sorry about the sounds. I, <clears throat> in checking my sounds when I was editing the most recent video, I realized that I wasn't recording game sounds. And I don't know if that's annoying to you guys or not, but when I was really paying attention and I was discussing the fact that, you know, the cows sound like they're saying no, and I couldn't hear the cow saying no, then I was like, oh, that doesn't really make much sense to talk about something you can't hear. So then I did a little bit of checking, and it was just a setting that I had changed um, on my uh, recording software that had uh, basically taken out the game sounds by accident. So I fixed that, and now they're back, so you should hear those sounds now, hopefully. Hopefully you're hearing that right now. So anyways, we're back. It is day three, and I've got a lot of stuff planned. So I went out and started killing some more animals um, to get some bones because I was in need of bone meal so then I can bone meal the cotton plants and get some string. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now just because I have them. And in the process, I realized that, um, because I was looking for string because I needed to make the, I think it's called the cordage or whatever, to make um, like the lead and stuff like that. Now, as you can see in the screen right here, I actually have the lead. I did make the lead by accident a minute ago um, and then realized that I wasn't recording. So then I was like, hey, we should probably record. So I did get my lead. So that's 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 the bright side. I did get my lead. Um, and then I went and grabbed myself a horse and just kind of brought it over here. Unfortunately, um, after I bow my leads real quick, get a little more string. Um, unfortunately, in the process of doing that, I realized that I couldn't tie up my horse anywhere because Fences are not a thing yet. A simple thing like a fence is not something we can do. So I think I couldn't tie it up to a fence post. So I had to do a good old fashioned horse hole and just kind of plop them down in there. I'm sorry, dude, but it just, it has to happen that way sometimes. So he's stuck in a horse hole right now and we need to, you know, train him up and stuff like that. He'll be ready to go. And that's going to kind of be where we're at today. So yeah, so I did make the lead. It's right there. But we need to make some more of this cordage because the thing I really want to get going on today is the saddle, right? So the saddle, I need a leather and then three of these cordages. And that's where all the leather I made comes into play. And then also all this cotton that I've been doing. So I've got nine of them now and I believe it was this and this. This will give me three string and bingo bango, we've got enough. So it's you. And then we need some of this cordage here. Okay, I, I can make two, but not the third. So like that, and smack away. There we go. So we are, we're almost there. We've almost got it. Now, I did actually, and then so, so I was getting to the point of the bones, right? So this is why I was talking about the bones. I was talking about the bones because, oh, I need to make more leather strips. Um, while out doing this, I found some sheep, and so I started smacking some sheep because I didn't want to kill the whole cow population on the island. So then I went and found some sheep, and as I found the sheep, they were dropping these things, which are called balls of fleece. And so I do my whole, what is that good for? Well, with a knife, that gives me four string. I've got two white and I think one gray. So that would have basically given me like freaking 12 string. So string, not an issue anymore. I know I can, uh, we're not getting wool drops, but we get the ball of fleece, which then we can turn into string. And so that's, that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. So let me grab another one of these. And now I should be able to make my saddle like so. So it was three cordage and three leather and a little smacky smack on my rock and bingo. We've got a saddle. Now I'm excited about the saddle because this is going to give me the opportunity to, oh yeah, I got to try to train you first time. Love me, love me, but I love you so much. Love me. Please love, please love me. No, don't, don't show black cloud. No, love me, man. Love me. Come on. Show me some love. This dude's got a ton of hearts. He's going to, he's going to be awesome. Come on. Love me, man. Come on. Don't be a difficult horse. I'm the horse whisperer. Shh. Yes, there you go. No, 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 no. Nice and relaxed, buddy. Nice and relaxed. Show me some heart. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. And there's that. And now we've got a horsey. Let's 
Go! All right, cool. So I'm going to put him back into the hole real quick because we're going to go sleep this off. And then we are going to go venture out and try to find a village today. That is one of my major goals. Also, you know what? Can I make a boat? Because get i'm like you know on a relatively small island and everything seems to be connected i just wonder can i make a boat what what are the odds no 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 not so good a spruce log raft that i can do because now i can make Ooh, that's something new that i knew nothing about um so there we go four string and three wood was it do i have where's all my wood there it is um, I think I have, yeah, there we go. All right, so it was wood, wood, wood. I This just literally popped into my head right now, but hey, if I can have like a cute little raft to go cruise around on, that would be awesome. Oh, I did also find out, just in case you guys didn't know, you can actually break this guy. The stump will break eventually. Found that out as it like broke while I was working on something. Scared the oven leaving bejeezers out of me. It was just this crashing sound all of a sudden, and it went bye-bye. Well, let's go check this out. Let's, let's go test out this raft. I'm kind of very curious about this, because if I can take it, the horse on it with me, and we just paddle around. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Oh, that's so much faster, and I think safer. Now, if I crash, no, it doesn't crash like boats. Awesome. Hey, where are you going, man? Is it a one-time use? Um, can you go back up top? <laughs> can you go back up? No. It seems to be like a one-time use kind of thing. Well, that's interesting. Well, fortunately, I've got a decent amount of string, so it's not a huge loss, but let me try the axe on it real quick. Oh, no, there it is. It's not a one-time use. Got it back. All right, now... Now we've got to test the theory of horse and can I take the horsey on it? That would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. So let us, let's go hop on a horsey here. Let's go, buddy. Let's see if we can get you on the raft. No, don't do that. Don't jump in the water like that. Come on. Come on this way. This way. Up, 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 up. There we go. All right. We're going to put the raft down. Can you ride the raft? Well, you could stand on it. That's cool. Well, can I push you? I, I guess this could be a relatively decent way. Or I could just bring the lead. I guess that would work too. All right, buddy. Let's get you back to the coast. This thing steers kind of wonky. So. But hey, that's we got boats. That's that's awesome. Because like I said, I, was, I did do a little venturing out. Not a lot, but a little venturing out. And this is going to take forever to get him back. Um, to kind of see what was in the immediate area. And there's a couple islands close by that I want to go check out um, just to see if there's anything cool on them. But let's... Come on, get up, get up. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. There you go. Cool. Um, yeah, there we go. Cool. So we've got a horsey. We've got a boat. I think we're doing good here. Uh, I've got food on me. I think we're ready for adventure because this is pretty much... where I, There's a lot of stuff I want to do. And we've got 50 more minutes to do it in. I want to try to get some horse powered stuff going. Um, and that's going to need, you know, I might be able to do this one. I think it was string was my limiting factor on that one. Um, it's a horse powered grinder. And so I needed two leads, which was four string, five string. So I need six more string, which I got sticks and stone. Let's go make that real quick because when he's not, you know, being horsey in a hole, I want to put him to use. That's definitely what I want to do. So I've got two there, so that's four. Okay, so I've got eight string available, cool. Let me grab some cobble. I don't have a lot, but I've got some. Actually, let me put my rock away. I like to leave it here so it's just always there and I don't have to carry that around with me. All right, and let's smelt you up. Really? Not one of you went in the hopper, really? There you go, now you're all in the hopper. And let's go get a little bit more. I'm trying not to like, create this huge like emptiness down here i don't want to start strip mining or anything like that so i'm just taking the materials i need a little bit at a time and hoping that oh potatoes are ready that uh 
eventually, you know, I won't have like this huge basement. I don't want to do a basement. I don't want to do underground on uh, this series. I want to do, oh, you know what? I didn't put the rest in there. Um, I want to be able to do <clears throat> like a pretty, just a pretty build, right? While that's cooking, I, I want to, <sighs> I have a feeling as slow as this grind is, this isn't going to be just a temporary shack. We might be here for a while. So what I'm going to plan on doing in between this episode and next is actually start to build like a quaint little house and stuff like that and kind of start building this up and you know, kind of theming everything, like making it make sense. Like I'm going to be using horses eventually to like grind stuff up and whatnot and put them on a little track and like really make it look cool and like have this little teepee out in like a, I don't know, teepee-ish area. I, you know, I just... I want it to f I want it to feel like I'm you know actually theming some stuff so let's grab you um, I needed string so I need three cordage yep oh but I need the string first so let's get some string there we go and there we go and we'll put you there okay so I need my rock uh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, that's what I need. I need the cordage to make the lead. That's what I need. Um, you, one, two, three. Little pound, pound, pound. And then I need the two leads. So it's you. You and you. That's the lead, right? Or no, it was this and this. Shape crafting. There's one lead. You and you and you. And then I need a stick. There we go. All right, so stick went there. Leads went there. And stone went in these six, right? What? Cool. So this is when we're going to start automating stuff. So let's read about this little thing. Because I'm assuming it's like the grinder. But the horse is attached. Right? And, well, crafting. Horses run around, it does its thing, right? And so it's the same as the grinder or the uh, the horse grindstone. So, let's find a nice little area. Right around here. Right? Just to get all this nonsense out of the way. pick up all this stuff man i got the hiccups i always get the hiccups right when i start record i don't know why it's so weird okay so nice open area right here invalid seven by seven by two area okay so one two three you're clear one two three you're clear one two ah right here so we'll clear out this area now you should be good. Nope, still invalid. How is that? Does this have to be up one? Is that the two part? Let's see. Ah, doesn't say it now. Awesome. So if I take my lead and connect the horse, actually, I'm going to grab that horse over there. Will that just start working like a grindstone? Like an automatic grindstone? Because if I can automate this, this would be awesome. I'm thinking I want to try out some hoppers um, because once I figured out like the hoppers w worked for the kiln and stuff like that, I'm thinking they've got to work for this as well, right? So I have to take a drink. Gotta get rid of the hiccups. All right, here we go. So do I just right click right here? Oh, he's attached. All right, so... Oh, and the grass walk on green. All right, so let's put something in there. Oh, you know what? I've got flowers on me, and I know those make, like, colors, right? So let's put you in there. Oh, look at that. He starts walking on a little path. Oh, that's so cute. Although that is causing a lot of frame droppage. That's interesting. So, oh, look at... And then it stops and he goes... And then it's just inside. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it goes in like a little bit. That's so cool. Oh, well, how did I get you back in my hand? Get on there. I wasn't trying to pick you back up. Cool. So we've got grinding. So now let's let's go make, okay. 
if I put a hopper on top and then a hopper under, let's, let's try this. Let us try this. So let's go make two hoppers real quick. Um, I got to make a couple of those chests. Do I have, I got wood on me. So let's go ahead and throw you in here like so. Let's get my ax. Go to town on these planks. Why aren't you chopping? That was really weird. All right. That was all of it. 12. That's all I got. Okay. And then bink, bink, bink. Oh, no, I'm not binking. I am not binking today. I'm not binking anymore today. And let me grab a rock. Put it there. And then it's you. Oh, I need one more plank. Um, hopefully it doesn't have to be the same wood. You. Oh, wait. I got more planks over there. Never mind. That's not a problem. Come here. Like so. All right, cool. Oh, but I need uh, another one of these, right? Yeah, because I want one on top and one on the bottom. Hopefully this works. If I can start automating some grinding and stuff like that, that would be absolutely awesome. I'd be so jazzed right now. One, two, three, four, five. And hopper. No, not hopper. Chest. Not. Yeah. There we go. And. Really? Okay. And then I'm going to make two more of these. Do I have enough wood? I don't have enough wood. Some of these, these got to work. These planks have to work, right? Right. I should probably go to sleep, huh? I should probably go to sleep. My dog's even crying at me. He's telling me I should go to sleep. Um, where's, did I, I lost a piece of wood somewhere. You know what? Let's make sure no mobberts mobs are mobsers mobberts it was like zomberts and mobs put together mobberts uh bother me we'll go and do this and can i mix the woods do these woods work for chests and stuff i mean it auto filled after that's a good sign right perfect cool i'm wondering if these chests will work or if i'm gonna have to do like one of these upgraded chests like this i don't know we'll find out though we will find out uh, I'm just, I'm so hoping right now. I'm so hoping that I can get lucky and get it right the first time. That's, that's my hope here. Okay. So what we want to do is take you away, right? And we're going to go ahead and put one chest right here and then shoot the hopper into it. What? How did you, how did that happen? Let's try that again. That's interesting. Um, okay. Let's try putting the chest here. Maybe it's just doing something weird because I'm like shift clicking. I don't know. What in the world? What is going on here? Why can't I just put you... Okay, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to move you. Because I have to hold shift click to put you there. So let me just put a piece of dirt right here. Right. Yeah. Right there. Then I can just put the hopper straight on you. There we go. That works. That'll work. And then chest right here. I so don't think it's going to work with the chest. I really, really don't, but I'm being hopeful. Right. And then. All right. So if this is something that can be like a flower. Okay. And I'm going to have to like jump up to get into this thing. It, yeah, I can't even jump that high. Um, I guess we'll do a little stair step here. We'll do those stairs. I'm going to make planks. I just want to make it kind of look pretty. I'm going to make this look prettier anyways, but are not planks with slabs. Um, but you know, for the sake of testing stuff out, I want it to be some kind of cool. Not, you know, this isn't all that cool, but I want it to look at least somewhat decent until I make changes. Because if this works the first time, and nothing ever works for me the first time, if this works right the first time, I will be such a happy camper. All right, so put you there and you there. Why does it keep putting stuff on random locations? If I click that chest, um, <clears throat> 
so put you oh, I'm doing it on top blocks right so so right that ain't right that's bottom block there we go I know this is like a huge waste of time right now but at the same time oh that torch scared me um, oh no I'm gonna have to do this again because if I shift it's gonna go to the other side I'm just gonna build around apparently There we go. I guess this last one is kind of unnecessary, but even still, hey, it's not like I'm wasting like 20 minutes doing this. Only like 10. All right. So up, up, up. And then we're going to go ahead and put this chest where um, did you seriously just put my ax in there? Come on. There we go. And we'll put you right here like that. Now, if I put you in, please. Please, please, please. Oh my gosh, did it go in? It did! Oh, and horse is still going, even though there's items in the area. Oh, look at that, he's even walking up the stairs. Okay, so you're you're grinding, you're grinding. And then you disappeared, which means you went in here? Oh, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. Although, stop putting it in there. I want to put you like this. Sorry, bud. Did I, did I, can you move? Thank you. No, no, move. There we go. I know I'm interfering with you, but it's okay. You can deal. Awesome. So I just throw stuff in the chest. It grinds it automatically, drops it down here. Oh, that's amazing. Now, I don't know if I like him jumping up on that, but you know what? I can make do with that. I'm, I'm okay with him catching that corner right there. Cool. So he's all done. Awesome. That is amazing. So, and that's actually an achievement done. Awesome. Oh, now we got more stuff. We've got chop, chop, chop. No more chopping wood by hand. Place a horsepower chopper and attach a... Press your luck. Oh my goodness. Chopper. Chop, 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 chop. Let's go look at the horsepower chopper real quick. Let's see if we can get this one done. Because it looked like it was all wood. The chopper. That is two more leads. Wood, flint, and five sticks. Oh, we so can do that. Except I don't have the string for that. So... The leads are going to have to wait, but we can ride our horsey here and go get more wool. Let's go, homie. We're venturing out. We're going to go look for wool, and we're also going to go look <coughs> for a village. Come on, dude. You can do it. You are pretty quick. I think I chose the right horse. This dude's pretty quick. Oops. I literally held shift trying to run faster. Uh, oh, oh, hey. On guard. Don't you dare try to hurt my horsey. Um, which way did I come from? Which? I think I was running this way. Because the sheepies are right on the other side of this hill. So I'm going to go get more of that fleece. Oh my god, I'm going to get stuck in trees, aren't I? Um, oh my goodness. This horse is going to be a little bit detrimental on a <laughs> island full of trees. But it's okay. Here we go. Um, nope, can't go that way. Is that a sheep? Nope, that's a white horse. There's two white horses. But the sheepies were right over here. So hopefully there's still some sheepies around. Where did you guys go? I only killed like two or three of you. Hi, horsies. Where did the sheeps go? They were right around here. If I can go make that chopping block, that would be awesome. So we'd have auto-chopping, auto-grinding... That would be really, really cool. Um, I wonder if they went up the hill. Did you guys go up the hill? Can I get you to jump? Can you jump, please? Really? Let's go. There we go. Come on, sheeps. Where you at? They were around here somewhere. There's cows. Hey, where's your sheep friends? There was quite a few of them. Where did they all go? I really want that string. Oh, I'm like, careful, careful. There we go. 
All right, well, you know what? I've got my raft on me, right? We still have to go look for villagers, so let us go look for villagers. I'll come back for the sheep. The sheep are around here somewhere. I know they are. Um, although, I'm using my lead, and I need another lead. <sighs> my horsey is going to have to stay put. Let's dig out a hole for you, bud. Yes, I'm doing this from on the horse because I know he'll walk away as soon as I as soon as I jump off, he's gonna walk away. Oh, you get flint from digging dirt out? Oh, that's cool. See, I told you he'd walk away as soon as I did that. Alright, horsey hole. Stay put, bud. I'll be back for you. I promise. Alright. So I really wanted to bring him to look for villages. It would be so much faster. But then I'm also realizing running through these trees may not be all that fast anyway, so. Oh, uh, what, what other, before I go running for villages, you know what? Shake, rattle, and roll. Let's look at this real quick. Uh, rattle, flute, and drum. If I'm going to need more string, it's not going to matter. Um, jingles, bones, and sugar. Okay, but I don't have a lot of bones right now. But there's plenty of cows and pigs. Let's go try to get some bones. Maybe we'll work on that right now. There's like so much I want to do. And I don't want to like race through this stuff. I really want to kind of take my time. Hey, is that piranhas or is that a shark? Damn piranhas. Get away. Bugger off. All right. Leave me alone. All right. Where did the piggies go? There we go. Give me bones. Get back, get back here, you. Get back here. Cool, bone, perfect. Right off the bat, got ourselves a bone. Nice, nice, nice. And see, those cows are taunting me. They're like, ha, oh, you're chasing after the pigs right now. We're safe. Don't worry, you'll get yours too. Um, wow, these things make you so slow. Okay. No bones. Ow! Something keeps hurting me. Something keeps hurting me. All right, I need more. Oh, I hear a piggy. Where you at, dude? I heard you. Oh, it's so dark over here. There could be like a skeleton in here. These dark forests. Um, oh, it's actually getting late too. Good thing I got my sleep mat on me. I want to get some bones. You know, I didn't look at the rest of it though. It's uh, the rattle. What else did I need? I needed a rattle, a flute, and a drum. All right, so the flute is with reeds and like high grass or something like that. And then that's leather. Okay, that's super easy. So the bones are the only concern. I need three of them. Because I've already picked up some sugar cane. Let's sleep this stuff off real quick. So we don't get ourselves killed out here. And hopefully we can find some more piggies, get some more bones, and get this thing built. I, I honestly, I, I don't know anything about the, I think it's Totem Mod. I think that's what those are from. Totemic. I don't know anything about it, but I'm figuring it's got to be something useful since it wants me to get this so early in game. And that interests me on what they actually do and what I can use them for. So let's keep journey. Oh, ah, there you are. I heard you. Did I get another bone? Let me put my bones down here so I know when I'm picking them up. And I saw another one over here. Yeah. Ah, there's two. Oh, there's three. Get over here, all of you. I need bacon. I mean, bacon isn't my, my main priority right now, but... I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you're going to have multiple uses for me. And I feel like being on all these islands, like all these little islands together, I am so not going to find a village anytime soon. I don't know how far I'm going to have to travel to find one, but I'm going to have to travel a distance, I have a feeling. Um, still, I need another bone. Was there more piggies around? I think there was more piggies. Ah! Getting caught in these trees. Too many trees! <clears throat> so, 
Yes, Totemic, I'm, I'm kind of excited about because that's another mod I've never even seen. Um, just like uh, Better With Mods, I still haven't really dove into it on Lost Souls either. And so that's pretty much a completely new mod to me too. So that would be interesting to kind of start figuring out. And uh, from what it looks like, it's all like kinetic power is not the word I'm looking for. Like wind power and water mill power and stuff like that. And it's kind of like in fitting with kind of being, I guess we would kid ourselves in the stone age, I guess. My goodness. I'm slaughtering all these pigs and I'm not getting any bones. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to kill all you like this. I just want some bones. All right, so there's another island over here. Let's let's start heading back on this one a little bit. Might be able to hop over there if I see something worthwhile to go after. Because it's a different biome. It looks like an extreme hills kind of, sort of. I mean, it does look like an extreme hills, but not your traditional extreme hills because it's really small. So I don't know. But there's snow up there. That doesn't sound friendly. That doesn't sound friendly at all. All right. Are you chasing me? Leave me alone, dude. I'm running away. I'm not here to bother you. Really? Where are you? Oh. Oh, he coming after me. He coming after me. We got to go. Oh, the bush makes me so slow. Can he go through the bush quickly? Is he going to hit me? Oh, I need to eat. Wow. I need to pay attention. Let's get back over to our safe island. Go back over here. Maybe try some of the cows over here to get that last bone that we need to make the totem thing. And yes. I know I saw a cow over here. Right when I was leaving it. I, he was staring at me in the eyes. Saying, go get them pigs. You don't need us. Right? There was a cow, like right here, wasn't there? Right by my... Ah, oh, he's over by my horsey. He's taunting my horsey. No. Don't taunt my horsey. Get over no. here. No. Get over here. Why are the cows faster than the horses? No. No. I think my sword's dead. No. No. Okay. And I still didn't get a bone. What the heck? Okay. Let's go grab horsey. And we will go find... I don't want to kill any more of the horses because, first of all, apparently they're a really good source of power. Uh, out of all the horses I killed, I never got a bone. So I have a feeling maybe they don't provide bones. I think that's a, a reasonable thought, right? Since I never got any bones from them. Ah, another horse. Or another cow, I mean. Hey, hey, get back here. No. Ah, still no bone. Really? <clears throat> There's got to be a bone provider around here somewhere. Someone wants to... Oh, there's a cow right there. Gotcha. Gotcha in my sights, homie. No. Still no bone. Why is it so challenging to get bones? Why must it be this hard to get necessary materials? I think I already went down here, right? No, I did not. Nothing of use. Okay. We need one more animal to provide one more bone. And I don't think the horses do it, so I'm going to just leave them. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a horse. So you guys put your heads down and you look different. Stop doing that to me. This guy is fast, right? It's not just me. Like, this guy is fast. This isn't a slow horse by any means. I think I've cleared this island of all um, non-horse related animals. Is there any more? I don't see any more pigs on that side either. You know, I didn't venture over there. I don't see any animals over there. Oh, just one more. I guess, I guess I can go venture on the other side of the island. Um, where's my hole? There it is. There you go, say. We'll go over here now that the wolf is not chasing me anymore. I can kind of head over here safely and maybe find some 
killable animals, <laughs> bone producing animals on this side. Uh, I could have used my raft. I didn't even think about that. That's why I brought it with me. All right. Any bone producing animals on this? Pr oh, what in the world? Oh, it's like, uh, okay. It's like Ivy. I was like, how am I climbing this tree here? Um, let's go. Oh, we, I'll always take some food if I see it. Oh, some more weed over there. I don't see any animals over here. I don't even know what biome this is, and I can't hit F3 to like figure out the biomes. So that's kind of annoying. Um, that's another unfamiliar seed. Oh, goodness gracious. Whole bunch of horses. I can't wait to start venturing out to some of these other islands and like, you know, well, cruising around on my boat. But I do want to get some of these objectives done. I, I don't want to just fly through the objectives, but I do want to get some of them accomplished um, in a decent amount of time. Okay, there's got to be one more bone-offering animal. There's, there's got to be one somewhere. Um, let's see. Just one more. There's got to be like another pig on the side. There were so many pigs. There's got to be another one. Listening for the oinks. Listening for the oinks. Or a moo. Or a ba. Anything. Oh, I heard an oink. Where are you at? You down there? Because I ain't going in there. Ah, there you are. Give me a bone. No bone. Good grief. How many poor animals do I have to kill to get a bone? I've gotten two. Makes me kind of sad. I don't like killing useless, you know, animals for no reason. I mean, if I'm going to kill an animal, let there be a reason. Like, yes, I'm going to eat their meat eventually. I love me some bacon. Don't get it twisted. But I feel like when I have an objective and that's why I'm killing them and that objective is not being met, I feel a little bad about it. A little bit. Even, even though it's a video game, it's still a piggy or a cow or a cute little sheep. I think I saw another one over there, too. I think it's time to venture over to the other island. What's that up there? It's not a horse, is it? Let's go venture. Oh, you know what? Got it. Okay. That's so much faster than swimming and trying not to get hit by piranhas and sharks and stuff. Okay. You stay. You st oh no 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 dude I don't yeah you stay over there. I don't want to mess with you. Oh this is an open area. Oh what's this? What is that? Horsetail. Okay. I'm not needing it right now, so I'm not gonna collect it, but <clears throat> it's always fun to find new stuff. Okay. This is becoming a bit of a long grind. Um, but I, like I told you guys, I don't want to do breakaways. I'm going to go ahead and leave this up to you guys. Um, when I'm doing stuff like this, you know, do you want me to continue recording or do you want me to do breakaways? I'm not going to break away today, but if you guys want me to cut away when I'm doing grindy stuff like this, where I'm just like on the hunt, or if you want to watch my random exploits of trying to find, stay away. I have no beef with you. None whatsoever. You stay away. Uh, yeah, so let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys want to see. Like, you want to see me venture out and do silly stuff? Because I do happen upon new stuff when I do this. And, you know, you never know what I'm going to happen upon. So, okay, there's four cows here. One of them, one of them is going to give me a freaking bone. Oh, my gosh, you guys are so fast. You're not the one I was hitting. You are. Oh, are you the one I was Yeah, you are. Still no bone. And all the horses scattered, or cow scattered. All right, let's let's sleep off the night, or yeah, eat up some food because I need to do that too. Okay, it's a new day. The very first cow is gonna give me a bone, and I'm not gonna have to kill any more cows. What are those icons up here? Weakness, mining fatigue, and nourished. I wonder if that's something that happens when you sleep. No bone still. Okay. So, you made me a liar. Get over here. 
Dude, quit running. Like, seriously? Still no bone. There was more cows, right? There was a couple of them. Well, that's a big area right there. Nothing really interesting. I'm just interested by the way that like this uh, pack seems to set up. It doesn't seem to have like ravines and stuff, but it's got these big, huge cutouts. They don't seem to have anything interesting in them, but there's a couple wolves sitting down there. It's all right, though. I'm getting food by this doing this journey, so what are you? Uh, just another one of those seeds that I can't use, so I don't know what they are yet. All right, come on, cows. Or, oh, heard you. I heard you. Bone. Got it. Let's go. Got three bones. Whew. That took a while. So, yeah. Now that that took so long. Um, yeah. Let me know if that's what you guys want to see. If you want to see me kind of venture out and do this stuff, please tell me. And if not, I can definitely kind of fast forward through and kind of do my own thing. So. But now we can go all the way back around this uh, extreme hills area back to my horsey and then we can get back and start getting on this rattle and um drum and flute they didn't look like they were too bad to make i kind of want to kill these pigs just because they might give me extra bones and i might need more eventually but i won't i'll let you live this time there's like four of them right there all right prime time um, was my horsey on this island? Is this, I think this is the one I swam across. Wolfie's trying to swim. Dude, do you know how to swim? I mean, dogs usually know how to swim, right? All right. I can't remember if I walked to this island or if this is the one my horse is on. I have a feel. The wolves are just jumping in the water now. What's going on here? Is this where I left my horse or uh, on the other side of this island? See, I get lost. Oh, there's more sugar cane. That's good. I don't have a lot of sugar cane, but I have found some. I'm going to need to start growing it pretty soon. But I definitely can always use more. That's always an option. All right, so let's grab you real quick. Thank you. And back on the boat. Back, 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 back. A raft. Not a boat. It's a raft. I keep saying boat, but man, the, the all of a sudden like lag spikes, they last for like two or three seconds. And it's annoying. All right. Yeah. There's the pretty island. So yeah, it's on the other side of this is where I uh, left horsey, but at least I got the raft. I didn't even, I, I, it's funny cause it just kind of popped in my head to try it. Are you going to come after me on the raft? No, you stay over there. All right, good. There's another one. That'd be kind of scary, just like chilling on a raft and then seeing a the shark just kind of swim up next to you. Because this doesn't look like the most sturdy of things to be floating around on. Okay, so it's around this thing. But at least now with the boat, I can go kind of venture off to some of these other islands uh, pretty soon to go, you know, explore and look for new stuff. So I'm kind of really pumped about that. Um, let's just crash here and run across here. Oh, sh they were following me. No doubt about that. Give my raft back. My inventory full? Oh, my inventory full. Um, what don't I need? I don't need beetroot seeds. Okay. Now, back over to where my horsey's at. Man, my inventory filled up quickly. All right. <clears throat> and we will go get some of these things done. I like progress, but like, and I know one of you guys actually said it in the comments, not rushing through. And trust me, I have no intent whatsoever rushing through this. I want to have fun with this pack. This one seems really, really cool. Uh, it's a lot more in depth than what I'm used to. And I really love that aspect. So trust me when I say I am not going to rush through whatsoever. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to enjoy every age and really try to maximize like the intent behind every age. Like, this is obviously, like, we're in the Stone Age-ish. And, you know, there's no reason to hurry up and get to Thermal Expansion or anything like that. We're just going to have fun. That's what we're going to do. Um, until I get to trees, and then I'm going to be upset. Because trees are stupid. Trees are stupid. Right? Vegans got the right idea. Eat them. 
All right, so let's go put you back in your horsey hole, which is right here. All right, you stay there. And let's go make some stuff. Uh, I do want to go plant these guys down here. And I got some more upstairs uh, because we're going to need those for was the flute, I think. And I put more yeah, right there. Yeah, so I got 11 of them. So we got quite a bit. Uh, to start, and then obviously I can just start farming them. I've noticed, however, that a lot of things don't seem to uh, grow very fast. Like, I planted some trees in, like, the first episode, and I think one of them just sprouted for the very first time. Now, granted, it's not like I'm on a server where it's running all the time, but I just thought they would have grown faster than they did. I think that one right there was the one that just grew. And I've still got some saplings sitting around here that I planted. Like over there, there's one. And I think there's like another one up on this hillside. So they don't seem to be growing very fast, but they'll, they'll get there. It, oh, yeah, my cotton. I need to be monitoring the cotton because it's not growing very fast. Uh, seeds will just stay because my inventory is full. I did also uh, accidentally click on this little icon right here. And if there's room in an empty chest, it'll just dump my inventory into that empty chest. I think that's really cool. And if there's already stuff um, like in there, it just matches up automatically, which is really, really cool. But I don't want to do that at the moment. Oh, and then this, nutrition. Okay, so I noticed this, and I saw a hint on it. And it basically says, like, protein. I've just been eating meat, so my protein's really high. If these levels start to get really low and I get out of balance, I can get negative effects. But if I do a good job of eating all of these individual items or whatever then I can um, get like beneficial effects. And, oops, um, didn't mean to do that. Flute, drum, and uh, totem, no, rattle. There we go. And then I was gonna look up what the uses for wheat is. That's what I was doing, okay. So wheat can be turned into hail bay. I can make it into seeds. Um, and then there was something like grinding I think I can do. Okay, and then flour. Flour with some salt and water can make dough. And then dough can be smelted for bread. Okay, cool. So since we've got some wheat, that'll kind of get my grains going, right? And now that I've got this automated grinder over here, <coughs> I can just throw you in there and you do your thing. All right. And so then I'll get that. And then I have the salt and I've got the waters. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so here we are. We've got the bones. I was going to make the rattle, which is jingles, which is three bones and three of those. So I need to go back and grab three of these. Should have thought about that before I planted it all. <coughs> I knew I was getting it for a reason. All right. So it was bone, 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 you and you. And where's, oh, I took my rock with me. I didn't mean to. All right, so there's you. And then I need a stick. Okay. I got sticks. I got sticks for days. All right. And stick and jingles. And we got a rattle. What is it? Does it rattle? Okay, I don't know what it does, but I've got it. All right, cool. Um, let me empty some of the stuff out. So <coughs> pork chops can go there. Uh, pig pelt can go over there. Raw beef can go there. <coughs> I guess that's enough room for the, <coughs> for the moment. Um, okay, the flute. The flute is three and some grass. How do I get grass? Um, can I make shears yet? Can I make shears? Oh, I can get rid of this. Uh, ooh, I can make flint shears. Okay, four of those. And one of these. One, two, three, four. And you. That seems like a legit recipe for shears. And then, can I go get a piece of grass? Got it. And three more of these. And it's almost nighttime again. 
All right. Oh, wrong way. So it was three of these and some grass. Grass and you. No, there we go. So it was you there and bink, bink. No, not binking. I'm not binking. I promise you didn't hear that. All right, we got the flute. Okay, that's annoying, but I've got it. Um, you know what? One thing I want to do. Oh, pick that back up. I want to get rid of this tomahawk because it's useless. Whoosh! Into the ocean. I accidentally threw my spear away too when I was spear fishing. And I'm not sad about that. Um, now the drum. It's a leather and six planks. I can do that super easy. Let me put you back in here. Grab you. Hopefully, I can do this with different woods. I would think I could. Hey. Okay, and grab you. And then I need one leather. There we go. So it was you, you, and you. Oh, wait, no. I hope this works. I hope this works. And leather. And where's my rock? There it is. Cool. It did work. So I don't know what any of these do, but I've got them. Let's go sleep off the night and kind of look at some other things we can kind of take a look at today and possibly get ready for the next episode as well. Um, let's clear out our inventory here. So wood chest. Yes. Um, dirt. You go over here. And potato, you go there. And unfamiliar seeds, I still can't put you in a chest yet. Yeah, I know. So I need to put you in this one. That's where I've been storing the unfamiliar items because I can't put them in these things. Um, I'm going to hang these guys up just until I find out exactly what they do. Uh, where's the drum? All right, so we'll leave those there for the moment. And I can put my sticks away. Um, I'm going to put you in the questionable chest, the seeds and stuff. And there. Just, I got to get organized. I've been trying so hard to stay organized. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like, you know, I've been doing a pretty good job at it. I don't, I don't usually stay very well organized and I've been doing so this time. And that makes me a little bit proud of myself. Um, so I need you. Those are tools. Tools can stay up there. Um, I don't need rocks. Flint can go in here. Like so. You, I'm just going to throw you guys out. I get so much of it, it doesn't really matter. Go away. Trash can. And... Oh, Totempedia. I didn't even realize I got this. Let's check it out. Okay. Totempedia, a guide to all your totemic needs. Uh, totemic basics. Uh, the red cedar tree and buffalo. Okay, buffaloes. The mighty buffalo, an animal which uh, is known across the lands for all the resources it can grant. They are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health. Hunting has left them nearly extinct, but they can still be created with the Manda Buffalo Dance Ceremony. Okay, that's something to look into. Um, back. The red cedar tree. Now this I want, and I'll show you why in just a second. The red cedar tree is a large tree that has magical properties. So its wood is especially useful for carving totem poles out of it. It can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with musical energy in the blah, 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 waltz. The red cedar wood can be used like regular wood, and you can use a bark stripper to remove its bark. Okay, this I want to look into. Let me tell you why. So... As I told you, you know, as we kind of automated the, the grinder today, the, I wanted to look into possibly automating the kiln and like my oven. And the problem is I can't put hoppers under them because the fire goes under them. So then I was looking here and I found the flame grilled hopper, right? So grill. And I've got this guy. Now this guy needs the red cedar planks. Now, I know I can eventually go get one of these gems from the dark forest over there, whatever. Charcoal dust, super uh, easy. And then shark tooth and all the other stuff. That's super simple, right? But I didn't have the red cedar plank. So if I can do that, let's see. Let's see. He's going to turn the totem effects. Ceremonies. It was this one. 
Okay, is a strong growth ceremony. For a short while, nearby plants will grow at a much faster rate than usual. Chickens will grow out of their eggs quickly. Additionally, they also will transfer mundane saplings into um, red cedar saplings. So what is a mundane? Is that just a regular sapling? Like, is there such thing as a mundane sapling? Let me look that up as mundane. Okay, there's so there's no mundane sapling. I'm thinking a regular sapling. So, uh, the strong growth ceremony. Okay, so how do I do it though, right? That's my question. It doesn't. It doesn't tell me how to do it. It just tells me what it is. Um, performance ceremonies. Um, totem. Okay, hold on. The center of a ceremony is a totem base. All music and other things are centered to the totem pole, and it is where the effects are released from. Okay. So how do I make a totem base? It, it said that I gotta use that, right? A totem base, here we go. Okay, so we can do it out of anything. But there's no recipe. There's, there's, there's no recipes. Totem pole, totem base, totem drum. Um, what is this? Sunflower, dandelion, and sticks gives me Hold on, did anything else open up after I did that? I should probably looked at that. Um, where was the totem? Okay, yeah. Uh, so buffalo provide valuable resources to hunters. Use a totemic ceremony to spawn them. Collect their hide and teeth. Consult the totempedia for more information. Okay, that's basically what I was just doing. Uh, my name, okay. As the white man came and took over the lands, he murdered almost all the buffalo. That were once roaming the lands in the large hordes. However, not all hope is lost. The man dan buffalo dance ceremony is able to give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes. Although a weaker kind than most that were once native, but they will grow large and stronger over time. Uh, musical selection. Okay, so medium light music amount. Uh, the drum and the wind chime. I wonder, is it supposed to play? Drum and wind chime. Avoid using red rags. I don't get it. This will be something to look into. I'm obviously going to have to look into the mod to figure some of this stuff out. But I want to. I want to go place a sapling and like play music next to it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to do anything worthwhile, but I think it'd be a step in the right direction if I'm trying to get um, the red whatever sapling thing. So we're going to go ahead and put you, clear this area out, there we go. We're going to plant, I didn't grab the sapling. Let me grab a sapling. Didn't I grab saplings? No. There you go, I only need one. Put you, rest of you back. There we go. So I'm just going to play music next to it and see if that works. I have a feeling it's not going to, but it's worth a shot, right? Oh. Hmm. Hold on. Let's check the book again because I didn't say it was going to do that. Um, okay, so this one. Alternately, the Zygon Waltz will transform. A okay, is it strong growth ceremony for a short while? Nearby plants will grow. But how do I do it? Like that doesn't seem to be in here. Like the, the other one told me how to do it. This one doesn't. Um, like a war dance, uh, is a ceremony that will create height in your senses for all incoming war and bring an drill into your entire body. After performing it, the ceremony will bring, did I not, is, am I just not, ah, I didn't see it. Okay. The rattle and the drum, <clears throat> large music amount. Okay. So we're going to put this drum right here and we're going to do this. Don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Like, this is funny. Uh, rattle, drum. Large music amount. Uh, gothically elegant. I 
I don't know if this is working or not. <laughs> like, it seems fun, but it's like rattle, hit, rattle, hit, rattle, hit, rattle. I wonder if this is like something better to do with a group of people. I'm getting rhythm here. Well, you messed that up. I don't know if I feel like it should be doing it, but it's not. This I want to check out really quick. If we can get the sap in, then that can be what I target for next episode. So I am going to pause real quick just to do a real quick research on it, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm happy. I think I've got this, and we're going to go do this. So <clears throat> I had the right idea with the rattle and the drum or whatever, but what I didn't know was I now know how to make the totem which is kind of important. Um, you have to have a totem next to it, and hopefully that'll turn it into the sapling. So we're gonna go up here, and I don't wanna break this big tree right here, because I think it's really pretty. I love when I get big trees. But we're gonna go grab a couple of these, and then what we have to do is make a whittling knife so we can create a totem. And I have a feeling this might be stuff I do off camera after you know we do this right here. <clears throat> because, like I said, I wanna start building up like a nice little house area. And, well, once I build this, I think it'll make sense what I'm talking about because I'm not really making sense at the moment. So let's grab our sticks real quick. And I need you and a flaked flint. Nope. Whatever. Flaked flint. <clears throat> like that. And we can make the whittling knife. There we go. And then with this whittling knife, what we're going to do is try to make a totem. And I'm actually going to make a multi-totem right now. Well, I'm going to try at least and see if it works. Um, so we're going to put this right here. And apparently, if you cycle through, like, right on set to totem base, if I right-click, it turns it into a totem base. That is pretty nifty. Okay. And then, <clears throat> just for fun, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to try to get this maxed out. So it's two, three, four, five, six. All right. That's all the wood I have. And then I'm going to scroll through, and I'm going to go to horse and try to get some speed. So if I set all of these to horse, this is actually going to be potentially going to be speed three. Speed three, yes. And so I'll be able to place these all around the base and stuff like that. And I'll be able to do speed and I'll be able to do uh, jump boost and stuff like that. I think that's really cool. But anyways, now that I've got the rattle, <clears throat> this is going to that totem, which is then adding the effect. And I think I got a shift right click. Um, trying to get it figured out here. Shift right click. Yes, that's it. Okay, so. I don't know if I got to get it done before the compass or if I want to try to time it with the compass. I think, uh, not compass, but uh, day night thing. What's that thing called? I forget. It's not a compass. What is that called while we're doing this? So I'm, I'm thinking the white sparkles mean like I'm too far ahead. Um, and now it's catching up and it looks like I failed. Maybe I failed too many times. Because <clears throat> if it did, yeah, I seen it smoked out. Okay, so that's, that's a fail. Okay, so we'll start you up. Oh, I don't want the war dance. Darn it. Hold on, let me pick that back up. No, I don't want the war dance. Stop the war dance. Um, I needed to do... See, so like, you have to start it, and then... There we go. That's that's better. Um, did I not get the wood back? I didn't get the totem back? Well, interesting. Okay, so you don't get the wood back. Let's go chop down another piece of wood really quick. And I think I'm going to have fun with these, because I, I think I'll be able to make them multicolored and stuff like that, using different pieces of wood. From what I read, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. So um, let's get my whittling knife back here. And let's Enderman. I didn't even see anything for Enderman. Totem base. There we go. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and sleep this off because I heard a skeleton honk his horn at me. And I don't want to mess with a, a honking horn skeleton right now. So we'll sleep it off. Okay, so 
It was drum and a oh, rattle then drum. Okay. So there we go. So it's rattle, drum, rattle, drum. And I believe there's other things we can get like um, musical chimes and stuff like that. So I don't know if I just have to beat the time. I'm starting to get that white smoke. Okay, so let's look at these chimes. I saw the chimes. Chimes. That's going to take not that much. String, six. Okay, this might be something we come back and do uh, later. Just because, <clears throat> obviously, oh, I'm malnourished. Let me go grab some wheat and get that fixed real quick. Oh, I guess I could have done more musical instruments. Hold on. Yeah, that's what we're going to try. I forgot I had the, the flute, too, so... So it's rattle, drum. So rattle, drum. You're still smoking out. Are you still smoking out? Rattle, drum. Rattle, drum. Maybe the totem is smoked out. Yeah, because I'm not getting my speed boost either. Huh... This will be a fun thing to figure out, though, because this right here just seemed, like, really, really cool. To be able to do, like, speed boosts and stuff like that, I, I think that's really sweet. Okay, um, let's go get another piece of wood and try this again. I'm not going to leave a floating tree here. I know what you guys were thinking when I did it last time. I was going to come back and get this one anyways. So let's add the flute in and see if that helps because it's saying you can add other musical instruments in <clears throat> to get it. That's just like the start of it is it needs those two things. Um, totem, totem bass. There we go. All right. So do I got my, yes, yeah, I got my speed back. Okay. So we'll do this rattle drum. No, nope, let's try that again. Rattle drum. Rattle drum. Why are you smoking out? <clears throat> I just did this. And now I've lost my effect again. Hold on. What's I just did this. Just did it. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Totem base. You're done. Okay. So holding shift. Rattle drum. And it smoked out again. What is going on? I just did this. Rattle? Yeah, see, you're smoked out already. Hold on. Last try. Whittling knife. Totem base. Should get my speed back in just a second. I love that right there. That's just so cool. So simple. Such a great boost for the very beginning. Um, okay, so rattle. Drum. There we go. This is so cool. I'm really digging on this concept here. But it's starting to smoke. Oh, it did it. Awesome. And now we've got this sapling. Oh, that's awesome. And then this whole area, like, supposed to grow faster for I don't know how long. But that is something that we can put down by our uh, crops down there and get them to grow. Oh, my gosh. I know we went longer than I wanted to. Uh, but this is super, super exciting because now we can get that other red wood that I wanted. And that is outstanding. Red cedar sapling. So now I know how to get the red cedar sapling. So we're going to go plant this guy right over here. <clears throat> and that's where you're going to go. You're going to grow right 
right there. There you go. And you're going to do your thing. Awesome. And I don't know how long this effect lasts. Obviously, it's still, you know, affecting or whatever. And apparently I lost. Oh, and there it goes. And then I got my speed back because of it. Okay, cool. So, yes, I'm super excited. <clears throat> I'm going to go make some bread to get my nourishment back up. But, oh, my gosh. I'm going to have these totems everywhere. So, I am going to do some stuff off camera. I'm going to build. And I'm going to build myself a house. And I'm probably going to have totems all over the place for speed boost and jump boost and all that fun stuff. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited that that worked. Ha. Huh. All right, travelers. So, y'all. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc. And I'm out of here.